Okay, in this video I want to talk about um, just a different example of a type of homogeneous second order linear differential equation. So um, this is the form of a homogeneous second order linear differential equation. P of x, q of x, r of x, g of x have to be continuous functions. In general, these are hard to solve. We're going to look at an easier case where P, Q, and R are constants replaced with by values A, B, and C. We want A to be non-zero. The idea is we're going to solve, we're going to, we're going to turn the um, differential equation into basically a quadratic equation. We call this the characteristic equation. Solve the corresponding characteristic equation. Based on the types of solutions to the characteristic equation, it tells us the general solution to the original differential equation. Um, so obviously we have a quadratic equation. Different things can happen in regards to our roots. One of the results is the following. So it says if your roots are complex, then It says if the roots are of the form a plus or minus um, beta i, it says then the general solution of this differential equation is going to be of the form e to the alpha x times the quantity c1 cosine beta x plus c2 sine beta x. So um, here we're going to solve y double prime minus 6y prime plus 13y. <clears throat> so again, we have to look at the uh, equation r squared minus 6r plus 13 equals 0. Well, I don't think this is going to factor, so I'm just going to use the quadratic formula. Negative b plus or minus the square root of b squared minus 4 times a times c. 4 times 1 times 13 is 52 over 2 times a. Okay, so if we simplify this down, we'll get 6 plus or minus the square root of negative 16. So there's our complex solutions cropping up. And we can just simply bust this up as 6 plus or minus the square root of 16, excuse me, negative 16 would be 4i over 2. Well, let's just go ahead and reduce this to 3 plus or minus 2i. So we're basically there at this point. Um, alpha is going to be the value 3. Beta is going to be the value 2, don't worry about the plus or minus. Um, and now all we have to do is just drop that into our, basically our little formula up here. So I'm going to fill in alpha equals 3, beta equals 2, drop in alpha, beta, and beta, and then we'll have our general solution. So it says our solution will look like e to the alpha, which is 3x, c1 cosine of beta, cos beta being um, 2 in this case is what we found. So 2x um, plus c2 sine of beta, again, which is 2, um, times x. And ta-da, we now have our general solution. So nothing too bad. Um, the only thing that's really tricky, I would say, in this case is just recognizing and remembering the formula. Um, so other than that, it's just basically just a, a solving a quadratic equation. So things don't get much better than that in a differential equations class. So if you have any questions or comments, please feel free to post them. Um, and hopefully me or somebody else can help you out out there.